Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how to clean the surface of your flexible 3D print bed. Uh, recently someone commented on one of my YouTube videos that I really need to clean my print bed and that's probably true. Um, you can see there's a lot of caked on uh, stuff on this print bed. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly how I do that here. Um, I'm also going to show you my um, newer print bed, um, the Creality Ender print bed that doesn't really need a full washing and just show you what I do to maintain that print bed. So essentially you're going to need uh, two things to clean your print bed. One is you're going to need um, isopropyl alcohol. So this is going to be for your like regular maintenance in between prints and I'm going to show you how to use that. And then for your dirtier print bed, which if you're wondering how this one got so dirty, it's because I use the um, Elegoo Build Platform glue stick in between, print, in between prints. So this actually works great. Um, I just put this glue stick, I actually don't do it every print, but every few prints I put the glue stick down and I honestly don't have any issues with adhesion. Even though someone commented that my print bed needs cleaning, I actually haven't been having any issues with printing with a print bed this dirty um, because really that though the dirt and debris is actually just the residue from this glue stick, which really helps with adhesion. Um, so it doesn't look the prettiest, but it actually is pretty functional. Um, of course, you can use the Elegoo brand platform glue stick. I've tried just using a regular glue stick. It works perfectly fine too. But to clean up this type of print bed that's really got some caked on residue from the glue stick, you're going to need a little bit of your Dawn dish soap. The dish soap that does everything, can clean everything. Um, this stuff is what I use to clean my flexible print bed really well when I need it to look um, really clean. So let's start off with the isopropyl alcohol. So what you want to do is I just use like a napkin, a dinner napkin, an old one that I have. Like So basically a cloth, a microfiber cloth, or just a regular cloth um, is what you want to use because you don't want to use something like a um, paper towel or toilet paper or something because that's just going to contribute more lint. And then you want to put a little bit of your um, alcohol onto that and then you just want to gently go over your print bed with the alcohol. So this is just going to make sure that your print bed is free of any um, lint or oils from skin. You generally don't want to touch your print bed. I mean, that's why the, um, this print bed actually has these spots for your thumbnails, um, for your fingerprints to go. Because generally, the, all the oils on your fingers can affect the adhesion. So for a complex 3D print, you're not going to get as great adhesion with, um, with any oils from your skin on the print bed. So that's what I do just as like a daily maintenance on my... Um, print bed especially when it's been freshly cleaned um, but if you'll as you'll see here if I were to do that alcohol on this it's not really doing anything there's just so much caked on um, glue stick there that it certainly needs a more vigorous cleaning so let's take you over to the sink and I'll show you how I do the Dawn dish soap cleaning Okay, so here's this print bed up close. You can see all that caked on glue. Um, so now I'm gonna show you what I do. I use a little bit of Dawn dish soap. I just use like a microfiber cleaning cloth. Just pour a little bit of the dish soap on. And then I use warm water. Warm water is the most effective. And then I just scrub away. All right, now I'm gonna let that dry. It looks squeaky clean. All right, so here's the print bed back on the printer looking squeaky clean. Um, again, now that it's been thoroughly cleaned with the dish soap, I can use the isopropyl alcohol to maintain it. Um, but I will likely probably use my glue stick again because I do find that really helps with adhesion. And so I'll just have to remember to clean it every week or so to make sure I get that residue off. It's really important to have the good clean print bed for a nice quality print, especially getting that adhesion and that first layer quality. It's going to make a big difference. So definitely recommend that you do it. 
um, regularly. Like I mentioned, the isopropyl alcohol is important in between each print. And then I recommend, depending on how often you're using your printer, uh, doing the Dawn dish soap about once a week. All right, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll be back next week with a tutorial on print bed adhesion.